In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to use the image annotation control in a K2 smart form. This control allows you to capture an image in a form using the K2 mobile app. From there, you can mark or annotate the image, display the annotated image on a form, or save it to a K2 smart object for later use. To save some time, I am going to assume that you already know how to create smart objects and generate forms and views using K2 Designer. So I have already gone through those steps to get to the point where we are ready to drop the image annotation control onto a view. For this setting, I have a simple smart object meant to capture expense claim items with the K2 mobile app where you can scan receipts with the camera on your mobile device. From there, you could underline or circle certain expenses to highlight a purchased item for your expense claim. Note, this isn't a complete solution, it's just meant to provide some illustration for using the annotation control. With the generated item view and form for this smart object, I have already removed some button controls from the view. I added some data label controls that will be used to capture and display an image along with showing the size dimensions. There is also a button called Add Image that the user can click to open the camera on the mobile device to take a picture. At this point, we can get into configuring the controls and rules that will make this work. My next task is to drag the image annotation control over to the design canvas. We can find this control in the toolbox tab over on the left side of the designer under the input grouping of controls. I'll drag that control over to the top of the view and drop it. Again, I did some early work by adding these label controls. One of the data labels is to show the image size captured by the annotation control. The other is to show the image. For the data label showing the image, I do want to select it and put a check in the literal property checkbox so that it shows the image that comes in. I'm going to use an HTML image tag later on for this, so the literal setting allows that to be rendered as HTML in a browser. Next, I'll head over to the rules area to set up the behavior of this view. Make a note, depending on your form and view design, your rules screen may have existing rules for other controls on your view. Let's add a new rule that will make sure the image annotation control is supported by the mobile device. We can warn the user with a message if it is not supported. Look for and select the rule called when a control on the view raises an event, then select the image annotation control from the list, and for the event, select initialized. From here, we can switch over to the conditions tab and select an advanced condition is true. Then configure this condition as follows. Open the rule designer window and add a new condition. For the left side of the condition, open up the controls group for the view over on the right, Go down into the detail group for the image annotation control and drag the field called is supported over to the empty box on the left side of this condition. Ensure that the operator is set to equals, then enter the word false in the right side of the condition statement. This is going to determine if the device the user has will support the image annotation control. I'll close this window then over in Actions, search for and add Show a Message. Of course, feel free to enter whatever message information you'd like. For this demo, I'll add Control is not supported to the title box, Image Annotation Control for the heading, then for the body, I'll enter in the Image Annotation Control is not supported on your device. I'm going to leave it set to Small for the size, but I will change the message type to warning. That'll do it, so let's click OK and go back to the main rules window. Moving on, I'll add a button click rule at this point that will allow a user to take a picture with the device. For this to work, let's add a new rule, select when a control on the view raises an event. I'll select the add image button. It should default to the clicked event for this, which is fine. Now I will add another condition to make sure the annotation control is supported here as well. On the conditions tab, I'll search for and select the advanced condition again. And configuring this option, I'll add a new condition, drag over the is supported option from the annotation control and drop it on the left side. 
From there, we can make sure that this is equal to true. Let's click OK to close this out. Then for actions, we need to add the action named execute a controls method. Configure it as the image annotation controls take picture method. We won't need to configure anything else for this action, so I'll click OK on this window to go back to the main rules tab. I have one more rule to add, then we should be good to go. So let's add another control changed event rule. So to do this, let's select when a control on the view raises an event, set it to the image annotation control, and the changed event. No conditions are needed for this one, but I will add two actions to pull in the data from the picture that is taken. Over on the Actions tab, I want to set the properties of the two data labels on the view to the size of the picture taken and the actual picture. I'll add the action Set a Controls Properties two times from here. For the first action, I'll set it to the Size data label. Then in the configuration for this action, I'll drag the Size property from the Image Annotation Control on the view over to the text option of the data label. This lives under the image group of properties for this control on the right side of the window. This looks pretty good. Going back to the second action, I'll select the image data label, then configure it to use an image HTML tag in conjunction with the data property of the annotation control. Remember, because I enabled the literal setting for this control back when I dropped it onto the view, K2 will show the image as it should be displayed according to the HTML entered. Using the base64 encoding setting in this HTML tag allows us to drop the captured image data from the device, right in line with the HTML text. That also looks good, so I'll save this rule back to K2, close all the rules windows, finish editing the view, and finally check it in. I do have one more thing I'd like to do. I want to make the form available to the K2 mobile app, so to make this happen, I'll select the Expense Claim Items form from the Category tree, check it out, then edit it. Within the Designer, clicking on the area just outside of the form, you can ensure that the form's overall property tab is open over here on the right. Next, I'll expand the Advanced group of properties in the lower right, and put a check in the box called Application Form. Upon finishing the editing of this form, K2 will make it available in the mobile app, so I'll check this form back in. From a basic editing perspective, that's how you would add the image annotation control to one of your smart forms. To quickly demonstrate this control in action, I have an instance of a mobile device open here with the K2 mobile app running. To find this form, you can open the menu in the upper left of the app, Select Forms. You may have to refresh this area if you just published your form for the first time. From here, I'll open the Expense Claim folder and run the Expense Claims form. I'll enter some basic information about the Expense Claim item just for demonstration purposes. I'll click the Add Image button. Notice that you do have the option here to take a new photo or you can select an existing one that may be stored on your device. I'll take a photo of a receipt that I just happen to have. This looks like I have a decent picture, but you can also see that you have the option to retake the picture if you happen to need better quality. I'll go ahead and use this photo, then to add some annotation, ensure that the pencil icon is selected, and you can use your finger or a stylus to write on the image. You also have the ability to change the writing color if you want, or erase to make changes. For more information on how this control works, you can find it on help.k2.com. At this point, you can add rules to save the image back to a smart object data source and use it later on with your applications.